What is going on guys, it's Gospel Gamer here. We are back on Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. And it's time to investigate. So first of all, the first thing which we should always do is check the dead body. Sakura drew a last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence behind the blow to the back of the head Sakura suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what's killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. Now you can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't had and suffered any other injuries. Uh, I think poison. Maybe getting her hit on the maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Not a chance. By Akuya. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, yeah, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think that's what you call interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood almost has to be connected to why she died. What's this blood back here? Why is it behind her? Oh, that's, that's glass, okay. There are shards of glass that scattered around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red and... Uh, these are the top... Uh, pardon me, fucking hell. Uh. These are the top and bottom sections of the bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. No shit. Okay. Oh, there's something else in the gl glass near the jar. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Interesting. Hang on, there's blood over here. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Okay. What's this? This looks like some kind of wrapper. Oh, that's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well, well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help calm her down a little bit. So you gave her that candy to Sakura? I found a big box fit in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we get into the warehouse, I took the entire box to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? But I wanted Sakura to chance to try it for herself, that's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. You know? What? Lost all their flavor? Oh, probably because she's died now. Okay. Um... Okay, so we've gone dead body, we've got the blood, that, that. What's this? There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... Looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loves her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it saying Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. Oh, what is it? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. There must be parts of the window that broke got inside to get inside. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. An important clue? I'm not sure I see how. Okay, cool. Uh, what else we got? What's this? This, the chair was shoved up against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there was no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Okay. So. Oh, hang on. This, these look like the bottles. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Why well, they got different chess pieces? And inside the bottle there's some kind of monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is how they got those figures inside the bottle. So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bowl. Huh? You know, where the bowl's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? Oh yeah, I mean, maybe I have. So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Okay. I feel like I'm finally starting to make things little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the floor. The Red Shard's glass probably started out as a bottle. Which means Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The Shard's glass and the Monokuma uh, figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say the Monokuma bottle is the weapon. 
Okay. Let's do it, Owie. Mary and Owie did it! Why can't take our hero? It has to be one of them! They can't stand the sight of her! You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more! You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her, you know where? Right here in the rec room! What? After I went to nurse service this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her here in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma said she right died right around then. I'm telling you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. Hina? It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Okay. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying, might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. Okay. Leave them. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. This door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only thing that was but changed was the smash window, which happened of course when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence of that uh, any kind of string or mechanism is used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm, having it sound both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't, em didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door not from turning and the door from opening. There is no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with in anything like that, so the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Okay. Okay. Why can't... Am I supposed to be spy key, maybe? What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? Okay. So you found out. Interesting. Then it's true? I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what he said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go to see her? <laughs> of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura all day at all today. By Q, it says it's not, didn't go to see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. If you're finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Okay. Can I leave now? No. Okay. So I still can't leave the room. Which is great. So I've checked everything I can think of checking. Uh, I like Kyoko. But for Sakura to have been killed, yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial, art martial artist, strong body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly, they wouldn't have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Uh, oh, hang on. What, what's going on here? It's handprints on her. Oh, the lock is open and they're on the inside. It's a handprint? Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone's hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hidden here until the locked door was, room was opened, don't you think? They are in all confusion they popped out and joined the rest of the group? Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not the possibility. Oh, why not? Hey. Think back, before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? And the lock was already open. Oh yeah, and the lock was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then, what does this handprint mean then? Okay. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so for the most so part. Then. then you should probably go talk to people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. It's why you, I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right, I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people, I need to hear what they have to say. Okay, so I can now fucking leave. So I need to go speak to Hiro and Toko. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Okay. Oh, hiccups. Right. Are they in the rooms or are they... Okay, they are in the rooms. So... 
Okay, so I need to speak to Yasuhiro. Press the doorbell. And after a few seconds... You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something about how Sakura wanted to meet up with you. How'd you know about that? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you special abilities wakened in you? But I'm not only one she wants to meet with. Oga told me herself that she had Baiku and Toko to come too. What? When did Sa uh, what? When did Sakura tell you that? I just realized I've been using that voice for ages. Oh well. When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, a note. She uh, she gave it to me in person. She happened to mention the others, just like in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met up with Sakura? No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. The last time I saw Ogre, Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. He was feeling around his pockets. Ah, sorry, this I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on her face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pockets. Huh? What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again. He shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. So I just bit of trash I've got to throw out. Trash? What, what, anyway, what? I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with her, but I never went, so if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that it was just trash, but there's no way that that's all there is to it. Okay, another, another candy wrapper. Right, I need to go find Toko now. Uh, which room is she in? I just know something. I don't know. Don't worry, don't worry ignore me. It's okay. I press the doorbell. Now, after a few seconds. Uh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slid it out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me, me about something. I wanted to talk to you about the fact Sakura had asked you to meet with her. What? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Bayakuya told me... Uh, told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? Uh, she said... I just said too, didn't I? Oh, now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I admit I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to do it. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Is it good enough that I'm going back to my room? And with that, Toko quickly retreated to her room. Okay. Okay, so it's heard from Toko and Hero. Hmm, what next? I definitely have to look around the crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein chem we found on the floor. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Chem lab, obviously. Fucking hell. Right. Off to the chem lab, better than the chem lab. Going to the chem lab. Looking at the chemicals of the chem lab. Ah, oh, fucking hell, I always do that. If you walk straight at them, it like hits you off to the side. It's weird. Like that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe one is proving me wrong. God damn it. Now I feel like an idiot. Data lab. 4A, 4B. Office, headmaster, chem. So I'm. What? Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was yes, sir, I understand. Okay. That makes me a bit sad. Right. 
I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you want to see more, listen, do subscribe to the channel as I upload every day. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.